Oh, I'm uh, Tom Fuller from Portland, Oregon. I'm 66 years old and I was diagnosed with stage 3 rectal cancer in 2006. So I've made sure in my family that uh, my three siblings uh, have been tested for colorectal cancer. I have two children. Uh, one has been tested for colorectal cancer and one's just about ready to be tested. Right after I was uh, told that I had uh, stage 3 rectal cancer, I immediately thought it was a death sentence. I didn't ask whether or not that was a death sentence, but that's certainly what I thought. Uh, as uh, things were explained to me, though, I realized that there's a lot of hope and that I'd be undergoing about a year of treatment uh, and that my chances and my prognosis for survival were pretty good. And uh, subsequently, I'm happy to report that uh, I'm still here after six years. Yeah, I think the best advice for a, a colon cancer patient is to be proactive, be assertive, always be assertive. Uh, you're part of your treatment team. Uh, what you learn, the questions you, you ask uh, are critical. You can help the process. You can help your colorectal cancer team communicate. Um, so again, be assertive. Uh, and also, I think it's real good advice to have somebody else along uh, to listen to what the doctors, the practitioners are telling you because believe me, you won't be able to remember everything and I misconstrue a lot. Side effects for colorectal cancer are real interesting and essentially they can go from head to toe. Uh, starting with my head, um, one of the things that actually surprised people, and me too, is I didn't lose any hair, but I had a little symptom called uh, chemo brain. I tend to get somewhat forgetful over time. Moving down, um, I uh, had now sores and uh, sometimes drinking water would feel like I was ingesting shredded glass. Uh, sometimes it was very difficult to even swallow pills. I had some nausea over time. Um, my butt, since I had rectal cancer and radiation, in addition to chemotherapy, burnt frequently. Uh, very painful. And uh, very surprisingly, uh, I had some sexual dysfunction. My libido was not the same. Uh, and I also had um, some uh, neuropathy, tingling in the hands and the feet, and it was very sensitive to cold. But the good thing about this is that your healthcare providers, your doctors, can prescribe a lot of different kinds of medications and procedures to alleviate these things. I think the most significant tip I could give anybody is to get involved. Take personal responsibility. It's your body. You're responsible for it. You've got a great team, hopefully, that's working behind you, but you've got to be an active member of that team in order to beat this thing.